Hi, welcome to Live Aligned Pilates. I'm Liv and today we have a gentle full body Pilates flow that is suitable for all trimesters of pregnancy. Of course, everyone is individual, so listen to your own body, take modifications and rest breaks when you need. Make sure to stay hydrated and seek medical professional advice prior to engaging in any new activity. So let's get started on the hands and knees. We want our hands underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hips, and we're starting with a cat and cow stretch, arching through the back, looking up towards the ceiling, and then rounding through the spine, tucking chin to chest, tucking tailbone. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. That's it. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. If you don't like the feeling of arching and rounding, try stretching side to side. So you're looking over to one hip and swaying the body to the opposite direction. You can do a combination of the two as well, whatever your body needs. Good, a few hip and shoulder circles if that feels good. Just taking this time to feel into our body, to feel into those tight areas, reverse the circles. Good, let's go for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now we want to find a long tabletop back, coming into our alternating arm extensions. We reach one arm forward, place the hand down, and alternate. Now this is a very gentle and subtle core exercise, as well as getting into our shoulder mobility, trying to keep lots of space between the ears and the shoulder. Good, and just pausing as you reach the arm so that you feel a moment where you contract and squeeze the muscles through your shoulder before you place the hands down. We're staying long through the spine, making sure not to drop the head towards the mat. Here for another three. Two. One more. And place both hands down. We do the same thing, but with our legs this time, so your knees are hip distance apart. Lift one knee. Extend the leg behind you nice and long. Draw the knee down, place it carefully on the mat, and alternate. Now this one is slightly more challenging than the arm exercise for the core. So just take it at your own pace. We are trying our best not to rock too much side to side. And thinking about hugging your core up. That's it. Really stretch that leg nice and long as well. Again, just looking past your fingertips so that you're not breaking at the neck. Good, here for another five, four, three, two, one and bring it down. Perfect. Give those hips a little wriggle side to side. Now we're going to challenge ourselves and merge those two exercises together. So find your flat tabletop back. Extend your left leg and your right arm at the same time. Now if you'd like to just start by sliding the fingers and the toes out, you can. Otherwise you lift the hand and the foot. And then you come back down and switch sides. So you can just slide the fingertips and the toes out. You don't have to lift but you can lift up if you're feeling good here. Lower and bring it in. So we can keep going with this alternating extension. If you would rather just stick with one or the other, so just the arms or just the legs, feel free. This is your class, your time that you're putting aside. So do what feels good for you. That's it. Always rest when you need. Here for 10 more seconds. So just keep flowing from side to side. 
You've got five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Bring those knees out wide, feet together, and find a child's pose stretch. Resting the forehead on the mat, taking a nice deep breath in, and exhale. One more in, and release. And then come all the way up to seated. Let's get into some sideline work now, so into our glutes a little bit more. We're coming to rest on the left elbow and forearm, making sure the elbow is directly under the shoulder. Knees bent, feet together, and we're trying to lift ourselves away from the mat here. Your top hand can be down on the floor or on your hip. Let's open and close this top knee. So really feeling that squeeze through your top glute, your left or your right glute to open and close. And you can lie all the way down on your side if you would prefer to. We are going to lie down shortly but staying up here on your elbow will work the supporting shoulder a little bit more as well. So it's targeting the shoulder, the obliques, and the core. Now, if you want more, add a clean kick out. So open the knee, extend the leg, bend the knee, close it down. Squeeze to open. Keep your thigh still as you extend, bend, close. Now, if you had ankle weights or a booty band at home, this is also a really good workout to do with props, but it's definitely just as effective without. You don't need anything fancy here, just yourself and a bit of space to work out. Really try and keep your knee open as you extend and as you rebound. Things are starting to warm up here. Stay lifted away from the mat. Let's go for three, two. Now we extend and hold on one. See if you can circle your leg, tiny little circles. That's it. Stretch through the knee, point through the toe. Lovely, and reverse those circles. For four, three, two, one, lower your leg down, stretch your top arm up and over, and just enjoy that stretch. Okay, we're gonna lie all the way down onto our side now, so you can either rest your head down into your bicep or into your hand. Our top leg will stay nice and straight and parallel as we lift it up and lower it down. So parallel means that the top of our foot is foot is pointing forward and our heel is pointing back and we're getting all the way down the outside of the glute and thigh here. Just trying to lift just a touch above the hip height. Nice. Let's do another five, four, three. We're going to stay lifted on two. So on one, lift your leg. Now internally rotate the knee, tap it towards your bottom leg and then press the leg out nice and straight. So we're working with internal rotation, little tap and extend. This one is tough after all of those clams and leg lifts. Feeling that more to the back slash outside of the glute here. Good job for another five. Four, three, two, one. Amazing. Wow. Bring that leg down. Give it a little rub. Press yourself up to seated for a moment. We'll take a quick stretch. Just let your legs fall wherever is comfortable and reach that left arm up and over for a nice side bend. Breathe all down the side of your left. Beautiful, come all the way up. Let's find our hands and knees and continue to work this same leg. So back on the hands and knees like our warm up, coming into a lift and extend with your right leg. So lift the right knee off the mat, extend it long. Draw the knee back in. So it's very similar to our alternating leg extensions, but we're now just focusing on the right leg. So let's think about squaring the hips off towards the mat 
and really feeling a nice squeeze through the base of that right side glute. Hugging your core in. Good, let's go for three, two, and we extend the leg on one. Now we're going to really lightly tap the toe to the floor and lift. Tap, lift, that's it. And again, that little crease between your glute and your hamstring is gonna pinch as you lift the leg up. If your wrists get tired, you can always lower to your elbows. We're here for five. We're pulsing in four, three, two. Lift that leg on one, pulse it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw that knee in, good job. Wriggle those hips side to side. One last movement here, we're just going to circle our knee, so still our right leg, keep it bent at 90 degrees, lift the leg up, open it out wide, circle down and around. Press up, open, down and around. Everyone's circles are going to look different, so just work within your body's range and limitations, don't worry about what it looks like, more how it feels, feeling that big squeeze as you lift up, open and down. Trying not to sway the body too far to the opposite side. And then let's reverse the circles, open the knee first, circle it back around and down. That's it. For five, four, three, two, and one more. Good job, pop that knee down. And we'll take a few stretches, so we wanna step that right foot out to the side firmly, plant the foot on the floor in line with your hip. And just rocking the hips back and forward. Good, nice and gentle here. Stretching in through the inner thigh, through the hip. That's it, and then this right foot is gonna come all the way, so heel toe all the way forward and across, coming into your pigeon stretch. Now, if you'd rather do a glute stretch another way, such as seated or lying on your back, if you're comfortable lying on your back, you can do your figure four stretch there. And you can take the option to walk the hands forward I'm just deeply breathing here. Beautiful, and then let's just let that back leg swing all the way around, and we're gonna find our second side for our clams. So you're coming down on that right elbow and forearm, making sure it's directly under your shoulder, drawing the shoulder down. Knees bent, feet back in line with the rest of the body. Let's lift ourselves away from the mat there and start to clam, opening and closing our top knee. Feeling that lovely big squeeze as you open. Remember, you can always opt to lie down on your side for this first set of exercises. Doing your very, very best not to rock that top hip back as you open the knee. Perfect. So let's add our clam kick out, open the knee, extend the leg long, bend the knee, close it down. Open, keep that thigh really still as you extend, bend, lower. And it's a really light lower as we bring that knee to close. We don't want to rest it there too long. Nice continuous flow of movement strung together. We 
we've got eight more seconds here. Seven, six, five. We've got to circle the leg in three, two, one. Extend that leg long, little circles. Whew, these circles are tough. Do as many as you can in one direction. And now let's reverse. Keeping our knee nice and straight for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your leg down, reach your top arm up and over for a quick stretch. And then come to lie all the way down on your side, however is comfortable. So our top leg stays nice and straight now in a parallel alignment and we lift it and lower it to hip height or slightly higher. Feeling that squeeze through the outer glute there, outer thigh as the leg comes up, lowers with control. Good, we're getting there. We've got one more exercise on our side here after this one. We lift our leg in five, four, three, two, lift up on one. Now we go internal rotation, knee to knee, and press out, extend. Internal, extend. Internal can be quite nasty after all the other exercises that we've done. So try and stay with me here. That's it, you've got six, five, four, three, two, beautiful job, one. Bring that knee down, give your hip a little rub and press yourself up to your side bend. So let your knees fall wherever is comfortable, reaching your right arm up and overhead. Perfect, come all the way up. Find your hands and knees and let's get into our bend and extend on that left leg this time. So hands under shoulders. Your right knee, your supporting knee stays underneath your hip. And this left leg will pick up and extend behind and draw back in. Thinking long limbs. As you extend your leg from the big toe all the way through the spine, through the crown of the head, and down. Now yes, this is core focused as well as glute focused. So because we've done a little bit of glute work prior to this, we really want to stay connected to that left side glute. So think about squeezing the base of the glute, lifting through the hamstring, That's it for five, four, three, two. Extend the leg on one. It's a really light tap to the floor. Lift, tap, lift. Making sure that we're not compensating by arching through the low back as you lift the leg. So we want to make sure the back doesn't arch and that we really use the glute to lift up. Let's pulse the leg in five, four, three, two, lift up on one, pulse, pulse, really slow. That's it for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that knee down. Good job. Take a little wriggle of those hips side to side. Perfect, all right, we've got our bent knee circles. So keeping left knee bent 90 degrees, we lift the leg up to the ceiling, open out wide, circle down and around. Nice hip mobility exercise, glute strengthening exercise. That's it, reversing in three, Two, one, 
We go the other way, we open the knee first, lift the leg, circle it down and around. Remember those lovely stretches that are coming up after this? We just have five, four, three, two, one, and bring that knee down, good job. Step your left foot out to the side, plant the foot on the floor in line with your hip and just rocking your hips forward and back. Nice job, let's heel toe our left foot all the way to the front of the mat and then across to find our glute stretch, lowering the shin and the knee down, extending your back leg out long. I'm just trying to really melt into this one. Walking the hands forward, if that's comfortable. Okay, let's come all the way up to a kneeling position now. We're gonna do a bit of upper body work. We have lots of legs today and a little bit of obliques and shoulders. So let's get into our back and triceps. So we're coming to a comfortable seated position. Coming up high on the knees takes the pressure off the joints, but you can sit down on your feet if that's more comfortable. You're going to bend your elbows at 90 degrees, palms facing in. Let's open the window, so squeeze the back open and close. Now if you had weights, this would be really good. You could hold on to some light dumbbells or water bottles or cans of food. Otherwise, if you really zone in, mind to muscle connection, body weight is perfect. Keeping the hands above the elbows, elbows up in line with the shoulders. We're gonna add a pulse, pulse, back, back, and close. Open, open, close. Squeeze, squeeze, close. As if you're trying to squeeze a lemon between your shoulder blades. That's it for five, four, three, two, open on one. Let's windscreen wiper, elbows to ribs, fingertips to touch. Elbows, fingertips, really controlled. Feel the muscles underneath your armpits, squeeze down, and shoulders control as you reach up. That's it, let's go here for 10 more seconds. I'm just going to turn to face this way for our last exercise. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Pull those elbows in, straighten the arms, flip the palms back, and then hinge the hips back and the body forward. Let's pulse those arms up and up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeezing through the middle, of the upper back and our triceps. That's it, pressing up to the ceiling. We hold our arms up in five, four, three, two, hold on one, flip the palms up and down for our flight. Now this is it, rotating from the shoulder head all the way down to the hands. Here for another six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, good job. Give those shoulders a little shrug out. Now we're going to come into a gentle rotation. I'll give you two options. We have our thread the needle. So back on the hands and knees, you open your left arm up towards the ceiling and then thread it underneath the right, bringing your left ear to the mat and holding your thread the needle like this. Or if you don't wanna bring the head too close to the floor, you can sit up tall and cross your left arm in front of you. Less of a rotation, but a really nice shoulder and tricep stretch. So take your pick. Deeply breathing here. Mm. 
then you've got three, two, and one. Open up the arm, place the hand down. If you are doing thread the needle, just take a couple of rounds of cat and cow. Just to recenter. All right, find your long spine, open the right arm to the ceiling and thread it underneath. You can cross the arm over the body if you'd prefer. Holding that stretch. For three, two, one, open back up and come on down now. If you have time, you can stay on your mat and move and stretch as long as you need to. Otherwise, we are all done. So I truly hope you enjoyed this pregnancy friendly Pilates flow. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week and I can't wait to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.